Hey my friend, today I'm going to show you how to install a continuous glucose monitor on your arm so you can measure your glucose levels all day and I'll tell you why that's so important. So stay tuned. All right, so there's a growing number of devices that you can install or put onto your arm that measure your blood glucose every five or so minutes so you can have a range and you can see how you're doing all day. And why that's important is, is obviously, as you know, as you may know, it's very, very important to track your blood sugar and keep it in a certain range. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you about how to measure your blood glucose level all day. And the reason that's important is because you wanna make sure that your blood glucose is not going out of whack, it's not going crazy as you're eating some of these foods because if you may know, then diabetes is caused because there's a lot of blood sugar fluctuations, but also high blood sugar in your body for a long time that causes diabetes. And diabetes has a lot of downrange diseases that you'd want to stay away from. It's really a killer. And so there's these devices in the market that help you measure your blood glucose. And yeah, in the past, we would do that through like little pricks into your skin and you get some blood and the monitor would measure the glucose in your blood. Yeah, I mean, that works too, but there's a newer technology that allows you just to stick a sensor on your arm and leave it there for 14 days or so. And in every five minutes, it's tracking your glucose in your body. So it's super convenient in that you can see all the results in your phone. It just, you can just look at your phone and you can see how you're doing from a glucose level every you know five or so minutes. So one of the devices that's one of the sensors that's very good for this is called the Freestyle Libre. And I'm gonna show you how to install this in just a second, but I wanna to talk to you about why glucose variability is also very important. So we talked about high blood glucose, you don't want that, or too low blood glucose, you don't want that either. Either. So this device will help you measure how high your blood glucose goes and how low it goes. But what's also very important to measure these days as we're learning is the amount of fluctuation in your glucose. So what you wanna do ideally is to keep your glucose in a very narrow band. So you don't have a lot of fluctuations as you go about your day, as you eat your foods, and hopefully you're not eating a lot of heavy carb foods that have simple carbs because those will spike your blood sugar. So the goal is to keep your blood sugar in a very, very narrow range, as narrow as possible. So what are the benefits that you get from measuring your glucose every few minutes? Like what's the point? The point is that you start to see your individual variability as you eat the foods that you love to eat. So over you know, 14 days or over 28 days or however long you put this on, you can start to see when you eat you know, that cookie that you love, what does it do to your blood glucose? When you eat the burrito that you love, what does it do to your blood glucose? Uh, the pizza or the chicken pot pie or whatever it is that you love eating, or even if you're just eating fruits, right? You can eat a banana or an apple or a kiwi, and you can look at what the response to that food in your body. Of course, there's glycemic index and glycemic load, so you should be eating foods that have a low glycemic index, but more importantly, a lower glycemic load. And while that's important for most people, because these foods have been tested on a lot of people, you could be different in that you could just eat a little bit of honey or you could eat apple and your blood sugar might spike. So that's one thing that this continuous glucose monitor will help you check is your personal response to a lot of the foods that you may be eating. What that's gonna cause you to do is to become very conscious about the foods that you eat on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, you might think twice about eating a lot of french fries or a big burrito or grabbing that third slice of pizza, for example. So that's just something for you to learn from and then you can make smarter health decisions because you already know what it's gonna to do to your body. Now the third thing this will help you do is you can, now that you become conscious, of how this impacts you, you could start to plan your cheat days accordingly. So let's say that Saturday or Sunday is your cheat day, then you can kind of like work up to it, you can fast before the cheat day, you can work out before it, because you know how workouts or fasting will impact your glucose levels even when you eat a larger meal. So you can kind of work your way and hack the system so you're not incurring that much damage in your body and you're slowing down your aging. And that is the goal of this podcast, that is the goal of what I tell you, is how to slow down your aging until we can start reversing your aging. All right, so let's get right into the device itself and let's install it. So this is what it looks like. It's a yellow box that they send you. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll hold it closer to the camera. Okay, there you go. 
that's the Freestyle Libre and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it right now so here is the way to open it uh, and here we go so there's some information there <clears throat> I think that's the sensor in there and then that is the applicator that actually will punch the needle into my arm and then of course they give you two little alcohol wipes that you can use to get rid of all the bacteria and the germs on your skin so I'm going to do that right now so I take one of these wipes and I'll open it up like so and I'll pull out the actual wipe and what I'll go ahead is I will wipe down the area that I think I'm going to be putting this on okay so I think that's pretty good then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick up this applicator and I'm going to open it open this box and so the way to do that is you kind of just twist till it opens up like, like so <clears throat> And there you go this will take it out this is what it looks like this one's empty um, but this one's also got nothing in it really so I can show you if you can see um, yeah so it's got nothing in it so I'm gonna pull it back and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open this little box that has the needle and uh, the sensor in it so so without further ado if I can get that open here we go um, so that's what that looks like on the inside if you can see and then what I'm gonna do now is I just need to line up <clears throat> this applicator with this guy and so it shows you there's a little line there's a little line up here and there's a little line up here so you gotta line up so you see that little line so you gotta line up this line with this line and what that's gonna do is you're just gonna line it up like this and in it goes and then when it comes out it has the needle in there all right that's a little bit scary when you look at it because that's a live needle that's gonna go into your arm all right so I don't know if you can see it but that's what it looks like okay it's uh, it's go time so now all I need to do is to pick up my arm and I'm going to basically push this into my arm with the needle okay and the, the hope is that it's just gonna attach the sensor and the device is going to come back out so so I know where I cleaned cleaned my area or cleaned my skin so I'm going to set it lightly and then I'm going to push okay so I just I felt the needle go in and there we go it's inside that did hurt a little bit actually um, but maybe I didn't push it in fast enough so I can feel the stinging in my arm but uh, there we go it's gone and the pain's gone now and you can see that that is installed in my arm and when I turn my phone I've got the I've got the app installed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply go to the Freestyle Libre app and I'm going to scan the sensor like so okay are you scanning All right, so you just hold it. It says to hold the top of your phone near the sensor, and that's it. And the sensor is ready at, it says 7.57 p.m., which is about one hour away. Uh, so it's gonna be ready at that time, and then it's gonna be measuring a lot of my blood glucose readings. I'm super excited because now I get to see my readings every few minutes and I'm going to be checking my responses to a lot of foods for example carrots apples honey a burrito pizza I'm gonna be eating a little bit of junk food just to see my responses once I understand you know junk foods and I understand the foods that I eat on a day-to-day -day basis then I'm gonna have a reservoir of knowledge about how these foods impact me after that I can make very smart decisions about whether I'm gonna eat those peanuts or the french fries or the pizza right and so I can start to hone in my diet and to get my glucose in a very very short range if possible that's the goal so this is a 14-day sensor uh, this is by a company called Freestyle Libre it's made by Abbott Laboratories uh, there's obviously another company 
um, that makes it. It's called Dexcom G6, which some of you might have heard of, but these are clinical devices right now, which means you have to get them to a doctor. And if you want to get yours, this, this device, then I recommend you go to agelessrx.com. Um, the co-founder there is a friend of mine. His name is Dr. Dr. Z. And they will, you can go to the website and you can order it and they'll ship it to you without you having to go to a doctor yourself. And that's the beauty of what they're doing is they're shipping you longevity medicines to your door. Okay, so if you want to not have that conversation with your doctor, then uh, you can just go to his website and get it done. I talked to my doctor about it in Beverly Hills and uh, he was not um, in favor of me doing this because he was worried that I'd, I'd become a hypochondriac and I would start worrying about every little thing. Again, I'm a biohacker. I just want this so I can start to understand my biology better. I'm not trying to get too worried about things, about life in general, all right? So that's it. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw all this stuff away. Um, as I showed you, this is the applicator. I'm gonna throw that away. Um, this is the box, it's gone. And all I need is right here, the sensor in my arm, and I just need the device on my phone to track that, all right? So that's how you install a continuous glucose monitor. I hope that uh, you got some inspiration from this, and if you're gonna use it, uh, then you learn how to use it. But uh, leave me any comments and let me know what you thought, all right? I'll talk to you soon, ciao.